VCU calling today's event in remembrance of Adam Rams against hazing. Two years since the 19 year old freshman from Sterling died, the school unveiled a plaque and a bench in his honor today. His family hopes it's just the start. I mean, I think they've been really responsive to our asks, but also responsive to what's happened and they've already done some of the changes um, and we're hoping to continue this partnership to make more deeply rooted changes in the organizational culture here. And that is video from the unveiling ceremony. Adam died of alcohol poisoning after a rush ceremony for new members of the now banned Delta Chi fraternity. The family says he was told to drink a bottle of whiskey off campus, claiming no one ever called him for help, called police for help. Lawmakers have passed Adam's law requiring training on the dangers of hazing and requiring universities to publish student group violations. Adam's family is using today to speak to students and raise awareness and premiere a new training video. They urge students to do the research and look up reports on violations before joining a Greek organization. Ask other kids around campus, what do you, what, what's your, you know, what do you know about this fraternity? What do you know about this sorority? And if you get bad vibes, move on to another one. And on top of today, VCU has also implemented changes to sorority and fraternity life, including limiting alcohol consumption. Lorenzo. Hopefully these changes will save other lives. I know that's what Adam's, Adam's family wants. Matthew, thank you.